All right, wonderful people. All right, great people of Biafra. I welcome you once again today as you are coming in don't hesitate to invite your friends don't hesitate to invite people around you and always go to my article is very very imperative you understand what I'm about to teach today and this is an emergency broadcast. I did not make any publication on this. But it does not matter. We are going to talk about things that matters to our struggle, things that we are passing through every single day. And that is why I hear, I'm here. And that is why I will keep on preaching the gospel of redemption to our people. Of course, I have to also check my gadget if my voice is coming out sound and clear. Pay attention and listen very big attentively. Pay attention and listen very big attentively. All right, all right, my voice is coming out. I want you all to join us today. I want you all to join me today and I want every one of you to understand that on this Biafran restoration project no retreat no surrender no going back no moving back an inch till Biafra is totally restored and beyond we are out we say we are out we are not going to go back regardless regardless i said regardless what people can say regardless what you think about our movement regardless what you yourself thinking by yourself thinking that we are not doing it good i am in support of this leadership i am in support of Mazen Namdioku Chukukano, who is prisoner of conscience, who is still today in DSS dungeon because of me and you. I keep on repeating this to every one of us so that you will hear me and hear me clear. Mazen Namdioku Chukukano are in position to compromise. He is in position to compromise. But he never, he never compromised. Do you know the reason why he loved his own people? Mazin Namdekano truly loved his own people. That is why today he still remains in DSS dungeon. Why some people are out there gallivanting, talking all sort of rubbish, causing mayhem, and begin to destroy our land. But we are here to tell you the truth. Of course, if you have an ear, you will hear. And if you don't have, you know where you belong to. I welcome you all today to welcome your friends. I welcome you all today to welcome people around you. Tell them that IPOB, under the leadership of Mazen Namdi Okuchukukano, we must continue. We must continue without stopping. And I want you people to also understand this. Because I just want to use this as my preamble. That we are ready for dialogue and roundtable for Biafran referendum. You know, some of you don't even understand what we are fighting for. We are not in armed struggle. We are not in armed struggle. That is the what the man that is leading this movement told us from the beginning. And he keep on saying it up to date. That we are not in armed struggle. We are peaceful movement. We are the largest movement on this planet earth. And we are ready to negotiate. We are ready to dialogue. 
on Biafran referendum, on Biafran referendum, I hope you people are getting me and getting me clear. Uh, of course, I'm going to also show you people some video today because that is what our leader Mazin Namdekano told us. A man that some people, you know, the, the problem of our people is that they were thinking that Mazin Namdekano want to, you know, destroy their career. Why Mazin Namdekano want to bring these people from the shackles of devil, evil? He want to bring them out. Why our people gathered together and sold him out? And the extraordinary rendition him from Kenya. Today, Mazin Namdekano, he, he is in DSX dungeon or SSS for over two years. As we are speaking today, the court of appeal have discharged him and acquitted him. But what is happening today, they are still holding him because of some destruction and extortion and criminalities in Biafra land. But when you are telling some people that all this, their behavior and attitude is one of the things that is still holding our leader Mazin Namdi Okuchukano, they will be telling you, don't mind them. Follow the person that knows road. Like I said, this is going to be a very quick broadcast emergency for that matter. I would like to introduce myself before I will proceed because it's very, very important that you understand who is talking to you all. And some of you that are joining me for the first time, we are on Biafran Television Channel 1. We are on YouTube. We are on Twitter. We are on every platform. So you can also join us anywhere, any place that is available to you. We have come a long way in this Biafran Restoration Project. And I'm promising you all, and I'm telling you all today, because we have come a long way, there is no how we are going to return on this Biafran Restoration. We have crossed the Rubicon. They have killed our people. They have destroyed our race. They are now using our people against our people. I remembered what Gowan said after the Aburi Accord. That if he knew that our people are so much in love with money, he could have used money to buy us off. That he will never go to commit a genocidal war against the great people of Biafra. He could have used their own people. And that is exactly what is happening today. Except you lack ability to reason. That is when you can never understand what is playing today. But that is why we are here to always guide you and tell you what is about to come. Or things that you don't know. We have chosen our path. I, the Biafran child, have chosen his part on this Biafran restoration. On educating our people. On telling our people the truth always because I believe that truth is only what can set us free. We cannot keep on lying to our people every single day, telling them that Biafra is going to come, telling them this, telling them that. Why we are just brainwashing our people? Setting our people up, sending them early grave in the name of deceiving or deceit from pit of hell. I know we have a lot of gullible people in our land we have, we have, we have. That is why sometimes I keep on wondering, are we the Indibuo they are talking about? Are we the Indibuo? 
But of course, we have sinned against Shuko Kikabiyama and he has forgiven us. We keep on asking our ancestors, those that died for us to be here today, we keep on asking them to always protect us wherever they are because sometimes some people think that we are praying to these people. No, we are acknowledging them because without them we can never be alive today and that is why we will keep on acknowledging them we should stop acknowledging those grand green grandfathers of those people that brought all this religion that is causing mess today in our land but let me introduce myself please all right wonderful people freedom fighters lovers of freedom great people all over the world you are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nambi Okuchukukano. Here I am. I always set the record straight. Regardless of who you are, regardless of your position, your wealth, I am Mazin Okenna Okechuku known as the Biafran Shai Dunwashineke, the general. I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am a member of IPOB. I am standing with IPOB. I am standing with Mazin Nandi Okuchukukanu. And I am standing with the leadership that he put in place apart from that there is nothing else and i am telling you people today some of you that are following what we are doing some of you that are listening to our gospel some of you that are listening to the message of the chukwo kikabi amapurimi henine we are not going to retreat or surrender on this biafran restoration project are you paying attention to what i'm saying some of you gullible, some of you idiotic, some of you that have has no ability to reason will be come out and begin to yap. We know what we are doing. And I keep on saying this to every one of you. I am not in position to tell you when Biafra will come. I am not in position to tell you that Biafra will come tomorrow. Biafra will come day after tomorrow. But I believe that if we can be able to come collectively, we are going to restore Biafra sooner. But you see all these criminalities that is going on today in Biafra land? Of course, we are going to deal with them. There is no two ways about it. <clears throat> like I always tell my people, because I want to make my stand known to every one of you. I don't want you to mis misquote me. Mazin Nandioku Chukukano is the director of Radio Biafra slash Biafran Television Channel 1. Mazin Nandioku Chukukano is the highest authority and the highest commander in this Biafran restoration project. Are you listening to what I'm saying, please? But as it stands today, I want you people to understand this. I never miss my word. I always stand in what I believe. Mazishike Dozium is the one in charge on absence of Mazen Namdekano. And everything that he says, every directive from him or directive from him is authentic. There is no how you can ever dispute it. There, there is no dispute on that. There is none. I want you people to understand that. Because in every organization, they have the first man, they have the second man. Even though to the extent they have third man till tenth man. So, in every country that is well developed and well organized, they have the 
the, the, the president, they have the president and vice president. Some people have prime minister and secretary of the state. This is how it is. We are running a country. We are running a country. Of course, some of you will be thinking that the country is not yet stand. That is why we will keep on pushing till Biafra, our motherland, is totally restored. That is why we're here. And that is why we can never go back on this. I'm promising you the Biafran side. There is a way to do things even though you want to, you know, get out from this struggle. But I have chosen my part. That is what I'm trying to tell you. I have chosen my part. There is no two ways about this. That is something you must put in your mind and always understand where the Biafran side in Washington, the general stance. Now, I want to go straight to my broadcast today. And I have to also at the same time check my time. I'm half, let me go to my article and tell you people what I'm about to talk about today because we don't run away from confronting any vagabond on our way. We are not afraid to confront any ectoparasite or any infiltrator or those that their frontal lobe is not working. We are ready to confront them, to debate with them anytime, any moment. And I'm still going to put out my number here because I want to ask some questions to, to those people that are roaming around causing problems, causing mayhem to our people. If you think that they are doing well in their field, I want you to come out or to call and get me convinced so that I will follow you. I keep on saying this to our people. If this other part of these people that are just destroying what we are doing, of course they can try their best because they are scripted. They will try their best. And I keep on saying this to our people. Don't, you know, expect everybody to be in this lane that you are. Don't expect everybody to be as hardcore as you are. Don't expect many people to be dedicated as you are, we are not the same. There is even though Adesh in our place said, This is how it is. And you can never change yesterday. Yesterday have come and they have already gone. This is how it is. And we must proceed and move ahead without stopping, without looking at it. Listen to me if you are tired in this bus that we are, because we are in a bus. Oh, you may put a train, because train can. You know carry along more people put it train but the reason why we always use boss is because uh you know in that construction or africa in general there is nothing train uh, they are just getting to there but let us use the boss that is already there for for years if you are tired you step aside you drop we move on this is how it is a lot have come and gone so there is nothing you can do about it but we want you to always focus. If you are gone, I, of course, I know a lot of people have come and gone. Uh, you know, uh, what, what, uh, DJ Razor and uh, the one they call former African rep and the, the, the latest, the uh, last African rep and uh, all of them, uh, Rita and Abogo, all these people, they have come and gone. You see, the one thing about us is like, we are consistently we are consistent in what we believe consistently is the key you believe and you keep on walking towards it this is how it is you don't have to use the mistake of people and begin to think that they are doing this no you always focus um i'm going to show you people some video today but let me go back to my article and tell you people what i have today I want to tell you people what I have today. As you are joining, don't hesitate. I know, I know, I know that they are disturbing me. I know that the Facebook are trying to do things on my video. But one thing I want you people to understand is we are on frequency. We are on frequency and we are not going to stop. I have videos to show you people. And I have to tell you people that... Uh, Mazin Namdekano, I will start with Mazin Namdekano last court case. 
Then I will go to autopilot, ectoparasite infiltrators are in a big mess. They are in a big mess. And I know that some of you know how this issue, issue started. I know. Some of you have forgotten the, a one man or a woman. But at the end, there is something happens to that woman. And I know that where she is today, <clears throat> she's dying in silence. Which her name is Nelly Ophebu. She is the root of all this problem that some people are doubling and they don't even understand the root. We are here, they came. We are here, they came. And what happened next? We are still here. They have already found it. They have taken 440. That is what you have to understand. That to show you that we stand Gidiba on this restoration. We are not going to go back home. I'm listening to you. I'm telling you people. I want you people to always count me. Especially now that <clears throat> especially now that our leader Mazin Namdekano is in DSS dungeon. So do you think that I'm going to allow this man there? I will do my best. I will do what I mean humanly possible in my disposal to make sure that I talk about this man. I tweet every day and I want you all to follow me on Twitter. Like I said, I'm going to follow more people. Like I said to you all, I'm going to follow up to 2,000 people. But don't just think that you just come and follow me and don't do it. Listen to me. We are going to take this Biafran restoration to every corner of the world. Because this is the reason why we lost the war in 1967 to 1970. We are not scripted. Obianis, Obianono. That is how we do our thing. We are not scripted. Nobody pays me. But it's because of the love that I have for my own people. I have people. We are not one people. That is why they will be keep on telling you that we must coexist together with Nigeria. How can you coexist together when things are not working? When things are not going in order? When things are going backward every single day? And you are telling me that with this mindset of people, when the judiciary is corrupt, when the legislative is corrupt, when the every security apparatus in that contraption are corrupt how do you think that you are going to move this country forward how tell me because i want to know i want to know we have been saying this from the day when some people will come out and begin to tell you that we have been fighting this for years some of them you know there is a something wrong with our people not every of our people but most of our people they think that Biafran restoration or to get your own nation is just an easy task. They thought that it's a Omona um, um, meeting. They thought that it's the Omo um, Hanes and then Akwasre. They thought that that is how it is. They thought that it's a governorship that they are fighting each other. We are talking about nation. We are talking about sovereignty. The way we have it in 1967 to 1970. Now you understand what I'm talking about. There is a very big mess in their gathering. There is a very big mess in autopilot infiltrator, which is Simon Eberima, is the chief infiltrator. They are in Saray, they are running like a helter skater on the streets, on the internet, I mean to say, because the only where you can find these people is in the, in the internet, no place else. That is where they do their meeting. That is where they organize themselves. That is where they, they begin to dish out all this nonsensical from their mouth. That never yield any fruit. Lada is killing our people every single day. Because of his act. Because of his, uh, you know, scripted. Because of he had been orchestrated by the Zuko Nigeria. To keep on destroying and causing mayhem in our land. So that we can be able to find something to hold this man. Now they are telling you, let me go to a Mazen and the third one is this. The third one is that uh, IPOB, I made a mistake, uh, is supposed to be ready. But uh, I think my computer made a mistake. So when I want to write uh, Y, it turned to Z. You know, sometimes some people will come and tell you that uh, you have to correct your English. Listen to me, let me tell you something. It does not matter. I am not an Englishman, but I'm just trying to correct my mistake. We are here to learn and at the same time teach to our people. We keep on learning every single day. We are not perfect. 
and in this business that we are today, none of us we are trained on this. But it's the grace from Chukwu Kikabi Amapuremi Henine. Let me see if my voice is coming out sound and clear. I think people are listening to me, please. I want you people whenever the general. Thank you, my brother. Let me call the people that I'm seeing here right now because it's very, very imperative and important that our people keep on listening to these teachings and gospel of redemption because we are not going to stop. Okay, okay. I don't want, let me go straight away to my point because I don't want to waste time here. And again, I'm going to talk about uh, the IPOB. IPOB ready for dialogue on Biafran restoration. You see, I want you people to quote me right because some of our people will go out there and begin to mislead people. We, we are ready to dialogue on our referendum. On our existence, we are ready to ne negotiate because we are not in armed struggle. We are still on peaceful movement. If if worst comes to shirt, and this armed struggle is the final way or the last things that we can do, well, time we tell. Time we tell. Time we tell. We are not coming here to deceive you. I'm not coming here to deceive you. So let me go straight to. To the first uh, issue that I have here, because I don't want to waste time, I want to always make sure that I I work on my time. I have to work on my time. I have to work on my time. Mazin Namdekano last court case in Supreme Court in Abuja. You know, some of you don't even understand that the first case in Abuja. I mean, the first appearance in Supreme Court in Abuja was hearing hearing the issue but we know and some of you that are feeling bad that Mazin Namkan was, was not released at the same day or but we know because you have to also think as a woman that yes the procedure is for the first time is to hearing what is the problem but we know that according to the uh, uh, um, what they call it court of appeal that have already discharged Mazin Namdekano and said there will be no more case again against this man because the 15 count charges have been trashed and they have died like dodo but it's because of the way of that contraption the way they behave the way they you know we are trying to let you people understand nigeria is not a nation nigeria is not a country nigeria is a mainstream business go back and search for your history some of you nigerians or nigerianists I want you to go back and search for your history. You will understand who you are. You will understand that you never be a country before. You will understand that you are just a mainstream business for people. You know, I don't know how to put it, but it is a transaction. Nigeria is a state of transaction. You know, transit. You transact, you exit, you enter, you come out. This is how it is. Like you are traveling. You have a transit. Your transit will continue. That is how Nigeria is a, trans a transaction state. They come to transact business and they move. At the end, what will they do? They see that these people are growing. Uh, they are multiplying their, their people. They brought all of them together. And you are telling us that uh, diversity is our strength. How can diversity be our strength while we don't have way, the same way of life, belief, you know, cultural in esoterias we have nothing together even food even food we have no the same food as we are eating our own in biafra land yoruba people are eating amala why our people are eating too can you just understand what i'm talking about when you ask them they will tell you jerof rice is jerof rice a a a a, a, a national food is jerof every place in the world they eat rice everybody eat rice so rice is not a national food are you getting my point before you know some of you i'm coming here to teach you at the same time i'm learning don't think that i'm telling you that i'm a i'm a teacher but i'm not ready to learn i'm learning every single day i'm you see do you know that 24 hours of the day is not enough for me to learn but we will keep on doing what we know how to do best by propagating this issue of Biafran restoration project, 
by keep on you know creating awareness and we must keep on writing to international community we will keep on alarming them telling them the mess that we are passing through in that contraption every single day where they are buying more than 300 people every single day now you understand so let me also go back to what i'm doing and what i'm saying because i don't want to deviate at all but that does not mean that we are not going to digress and you know come back like i said to you all i am not scripted i am not scripted okay that is something that you have to understand and i still remain their general there is no two ways about it and there's nothing anyone can do about it i have chosen my part write it down if you see the way Mazen Namdekanu told us from the day one, if I ever dream, you know, he put it in a dream for you to see that now he's going to spiritual world. It's not telling you physical. And whenever you know you are dreaming, you're unconscious. You don't know, even know what you're doing. You can be speaking in a dream. You may be talking anything. He said in his dream, that is what I stand for. Even though in my dream, I can never pronounce you know but Mazin Namdekano first appearance in court of appeal was the first hearing so when you see the first hearing there is no how they can discharge person on first hearing that is something that we have to understand but we know that Mazin Namdekano had been discharged in court of appeal before they took him now to supreme court so we have to also understand and follow the procedure that before any judgment there must be a hearing are you getting my point because some of us are not i know some of us are very very you know emotional on this issue of mass in Namdekan, but i want you people to calm down we are not going to back down we are not going to stop i trust the leadership we are following lead by Mazi Shike Dozim, we are not going to stop. That is why we will keep on pushing and we can never retreat. We can never surrender. We cause Mazi Namdekano himself have said it. We have crossed in the Rubicon and there is no way of returning back. Where am I returning to? Tell me now if I stop, what am I going to do? Tell me now, so do you want me to abandon Mazi Namdekano there? When he was outside here with us, I was rejoicing that he mentioned my name. That people are following me, listening to me. And now he has been orchestrated there. And you want me to abandon him because he say, he say, you know, he can everything that he's doing today is like a, we are not seeing it. But he's there suffering. You know, we, we are happy when Mazin Namikano, we are mentioning our names. A lot of us were happy. But I want you people to know this. I am only one. I don't know about others. But I'm saying for myself. When Mazen Namdekan mentioned my name. Uh, you know I was. I, I, I said that oh my God. I am now in a very big mess. But you know what. I'm going to continue. Why other people. Because sometimes. By mentioning my name. It's like. It's, it's making me public. And I keep on saying this to my people. Mazen Namdekano mentioned my name among, even though this is in Finland. They mentioned his name once. Go and count it. If I'm not mistakenly, almost five to six times he mentioned my name. Because he understands that I'm genuine. I'm genuine. Like I said always, I never spoke with Mazen Namdekano before. A lot of people are calling him. But I, I am a kind of species that you know, when you speak, I read from what you are saying from your mouth. I read your mouth. At the same time, I think deeply to be able to understand and pick points from things that you are trying to let us understand. That is why you see Mazen Namdekan is unique. And the court date, the, 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 the judgment of Mazen Namdekan is coming on 15th of December. We have to Call upon the upon our ancestors, those that died for us to be here today. We must call upon their name. We must ask them to come and you know guide us and protect us and give our leader Mazin Namdekano strength. 
Some of you are there yapping, talking all sort of rubbish, saying that Mazen Namdekano, we have do this struggle for 10 years, that we have failed in every field. And what are you doing? You, what are you doing? <clears throat> Some people are telling you they come for Igbo nation. What are you doing to restore your nation, so-called Igbo nation? You are doing nothing. They are, you know, sidelining you every day, using you every day, marginalizing you every day. You are still there crying. And you are asking us, what have we done? Just I want you to go to history of those that have already restored their, their, their sovereignty and see how they suffered. Some people are beginning to take um, bring rumor like uh, those that have already been in prison. There is no how you be a freedom fighter and be in prison and come back and remain the same. You people are a bunch of idiots. We are different. We are different on this restoration and on this freedom fighter that other people have fought and get their independent. Our own is different. That is why you see sometimes some people will use us to compare Abazonians. No, we are brothers, but we are different on this struggle. Everybody have their own way. You see, when you come in that contraption, those people that amalgamated Nigerian together, they know what they did. That is why they bring three different species together. They did not bring four people. That is why they brought three people. When one begins to make his make, make, they join another one to be able to fight you. What is happening today? The Yorubas, the West and the North, they are marching together to, 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 to bring these people down, which is the Biafran people. And that is how it works. Now, we must always pay attention to understand that what we are doing is not just a, a just Omona meeting. Or just you, you went out there and commit a crime. You, you went out there and stole somebody something. And you go to court and take judgment. It's different. We are fighting for nation. We are fighting for Biafra. We are fighting for something that's going to be forever. And that is what we are going to believe. <clears throat> like we always tell our people, Biafra is our religion. So I want you people to keep calm. Don't, you know, put yourself in a high tension. I want you people to always pray for Mazen Namdekano, the prisoner of conscience, a man that has been battling his health since the, you know, before and since he has been in that dungeon. And you never ask yourself, how did this man survive it in Kenya? Do you think that that zoo called Nigeria and the Fulanese that wanted Mazen Namdekan, they, that they wanted to kill him in Afaruku Ibeku in 2017, they don't even talk about that one, how he ran away. Even for them to bring the case as the first thing to talk about, they have already told us, forget about it. That is where the case stands. And when Mazen Namdekan said that Buari have died and gone, they never bring that case. That is where the case is. Now they are telling you that Mazen Namdekano is talking, he is abusing Bugari, but Bugari himself cannot come out and answer. Now he's gone. Now he have go back to uh, Nijeo, Aisha Bugari boyfriend. We, we see, we keep record, and we will keep on keeping the record. So I want two people to pray for Mazen Namdekano on 15th of December, and we know a lot of things is going to happen. Now we have already uh, the, 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 the judgment have been out. I mean, the, the, the day of the judgment is already out. The infiltrators, now they will begin to plan more. So I want you people to understand some of you that are saying that no, uh, they did not free Mazin Namdekano. We know who Nigerian people is. It's only those that lack ability to understand, those that their you know, flant, frontal lobe is not working, those that can never, don't try to put one and one together to make something out of it, We never understand the system of Nigeria. That is why we will keep on saying that Nigeria never obey their law. When we are telling some people that all these things that you people are gallivanting, saying we are going to take it by force, the youth are the leaders of tomorrow. Where are you leaders of tomorrow? It's because of the system of that contraption. That is why I keep on telling you people, if I am a, a man of dog, 
Those idiots parading themselves, talking all sort of rubbish every single day, standing on pulpits, telling you things that they don't even know, telling you that your, 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 your last hope is in heaven, that you shouldn't do anything on this earth, why they are still on this earth driving private jets, flying private jets, driving all the Rosero's cars, buying the, the most expensive suits on this planet earth. But they are telling you that keep on praying. They begin to extort money from our, our, our old mothers can't, that they can't even feed themselves. Now you understand what I'm saying. Mazen Nam Dekanu will be free. But it does not matter. The picture of Mazen Nam Dekanu is already there. Either he is in prison or he's out. We must continue. That is who we are. That is what we sign on this Biafra restoration. We sign that we are going to push Biafra till Biafra is totally restored. Now, let me pay, let us pay attention to what Mazen Namdekanu said. It's very, very important. So that you people will listen. I'm not the one that said it. I am not the one. But everything that is coming out from his mouth is a gospel. And that is why we call him a prophet. Because as he stands today, everything that come out from his mouth have been fulfilled. Are you getting my point? Have been fulfilled. Now let us listen to Mazen Namdekanu. Where is the video? Let us hear what he said. Let us hear what he said. Because some of you, some of you think that Mazen Namdekanu, he don't know what he's doing, or you think that we that are following him, we don't know the reason why we are following him. Let me bring the video. I did not, uh, I think I will take the video from my, from my Twitter. Yes, I have gotten it already. I've gotten it already. Um, Oh. The point of no return. Oh. That is nothing anybody can do if I'm alive. Oh. Oh. Let me bring something. I want you people to see his face. A beautiful man for that matter. A handsome man. You know, I say beautiful. Some people will think that I made a mistake. No. You can also use beautiful for a man, not a only woman. But you know, the way with reason, we thought that uh, beautiful is only for woman and handsome is only for man. You can also use beautiful. So don't think that I'm making a mistake. We, we, we learn. We are learned people. I'm going to read also Code of Conduct to you all while we are ready to negotiate. But pay attention. Wait. I'm coming, please. All right, wonderful people. Freedom fighters, my great people, that is what I believe. But if I come tomorrow and tell you that Biafra is coming tomorrow, I tell you, use two by two, but one is, I'm the one, I will tell you how it is. If I tell you that Biafra is coming tomorrow, would have something, but one is, I'm lying to you. I am lying to you. I can never lie to our people. Now let us listen to what Mazin Lam can say. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing. I need them to understand this. We've crossed the Rubicon, the point of no return. That is nothing anybody can do. If I'm alive, if I'm dead, if I'm wherever I may be, the Afra will come. If I'm dead, it's even better because you'll come far more quicker. Repeat it again, on your Absolutely nothing. Repeat again. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I need them to understand this. We've crossed the Rubicon, the point of no return. That is nothing anybody can do. If I'm alive, if I'm dead, if I'm wherever I may be, the Afra will come. If I'm dead, it's even better because you'll come. From repeat again, on your Repeat again. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing. I need them to understand this. We've crossed the Rubicon, the okay. point of no return. Okay. Point that of is no nothing return. anybody can do. If I'm alive, if I'm dead, if I'm wherever I may be. Biafra will come. If I'm dead, it's even better because you'll come far more quicker. Thank you. 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 Thank you, my leader. Thank you, my leader. Thank you very much. A man that I love so much. <clears throat> A man that I will keep on following. Regardless of your gossiping or your propaganda on social media. I will keep on following him. There is no two ways. And at the same time, follow the leadership that he put in place. 
Lead by Masishike, Dozium. You think that we are coming here to joke? We know what is obt obtainable. What is obtainable is what we do. We don't just come here and begin to follow people sheepishly. No. Like I always tell people, I am not a hero worshiper, but on this Mazin Namdekano, we are going to follow him. <clears throat> and I hope every one of you have heard what Mazin Namdekano said. That is what I stand for. That is our modus operandi that we are not going to stop. Even though you are seeing the picture of Mazin Namdekano or not, if you think because Mazin Namdekano is in DSS dungeon, we never achieve anything. We have been achieving things every single day. We have been achieving. But the one thing about this leadership that it is today here that we are following, they said they are not going to tell you what they are doing. So all of you people are blind. You people are blind. We say things on the ground and we keep on doing our secrecy because that is the key. Now, do you understand why Tinubu became a president? Secrets, nothing else. Or do you think that Mazin Nanikan cannot just be free? Some of you that are there yapping, they are holding him. We want him to die there. Mazin Namdekano can, you know, receive a huge amount of money at the same time begin to sell all of your land. What are you going to do? A voice of voiceless. A thunder voice. A man whenever he speaks. Tsunami is everywhere. A man that is in DSS dungeon today. People are sparking off. Is sparking up. Doing all, all evil. At the same time forget that they are doing criminals. But they are saying on his name. So for you to know how powerful the name of Mazen Namdekano is. Why couldn't they say that they were, I'm doing it on my own? No they can't do it on their own. They have to attach the name of a powerful man for them to be able to carry their dubious art. For you to know that Mazin Namdekano is a powerful one. Day, there is nothing you can tell me about Mazin Namdekano. He is a powerful man. That is why they are using his name. That is why they are using also his name to commit a crime. As we are using his name to educate our people, to tell our people what is about to come. To tell our people where they are getting it wrong. To direct our people in a way that they will understand and get the point that Nigeria is not for them. At the same time, some people are using his name to destroy and cause chaos in our land. We know all these things. That to show you that he is a powerful man. Now, I, have, I, have, I hope you people have understand what I said about uh, um, Mazen Namdekano, we should calm down. We know their pattern. We know the pattern of Nigeria, except if you don't know. Even though when Mazen Namdekano, we are dish, I mean, we are we, we are giving bail in 2017. Do you know they did not release Mazen Namdekano straight because of the way they structured and the registrators and the and the uh, executives. And the, all the, I mean, Nigerian uh, uh, government, the way they structure them and the way they behave. Do you know here in Europe, if you committed a crime, and the same, and the, I mean, you, you have served, even though a political prisoner, you have served, and they go to court, and they discharge you, believe me, within two to 24 hours, only what can keep you there within two, to 24 hours is for you to sign some necessary document that will show that you are already free so that you can also have some copies. That is what I can hold you. But that day, within 24 hours, you are getting out from that. The gate will open by itself. You are going out free. You will be a free person. But now in the system of we have, where we have find ourselves, you see how people behave. When we tell you that Nigeria is a zoo and they have upgraded to jungle, you don't seem to understand. And I see some people in that contraption, they will be telling you that government is not your problem. That uh, they have already left the government, they are putting the blame on the citizens. You are just a bunch of idiots because you never travel or got travel and see. Landlord, travel and see and see how things wrong. 
you will see that if country is functioning today is from their government if country is going backward and the going in a swamp is the government you don't have to blame the the citizens or the youths these people has no power to give decision these people are not going to tell you where their location will go these people are not the ogre on the top they're going to tell you let us squander this money no they has nothing to do how are you going to blame the youth why you have the uh, the legislators the people that are signing out the money some the people that are taking their location and now you are putting blame on the citizens or the youth that knows nothing that they have already brainwashed and they are seeing those people on the top that they are the people that are supposed to be the leader that is how african function today they thought that some people meant to be a leader why other people meant to be poor now you understand this kind of i mean feudal system that is the word they runs in nigeria the runs feudal system we are in you know, on the top we meant to be ruling you people we only we, we that end on an end now you understand what i'm saying that is where we have find ourselves today okay and i hope you people are understanding my lecture thank you great people for all of you that are here don't hesitate to share this broadcast it's educative and i hope every one of you are understanding my point okay let me let me go now to my second topic like i said to you all there is a big mess in a autopilot ectoparasite infiltrators they are in a big mess oh no 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 they are in a big mess and uh, before i will start and i will show you what i uh, you know you people are going to listen to it they are now carrying it but very soon we are going to get the original copy we have already you know we have our our spies there and some of you will be saying do you think that is these people are doing well do you think that i will not follow them uh, of course i will follow them you don't know before but the first time i heard about these idiots that something come in my mind that this guy does something behind him that is why i keep on asking does it mean that mazin namdekano did not saw all these things but i got the reply and the answer from the one of the dos that i brought to this program last time he told us that some people are in front of mazin namdekano they are trying to you know they push this guy so much that mazin namdekano is seen because being a human he have already forgot about all those things like okay maybe probably have changed okay in Finland, some of you that don't know how this thing started, it started by Nelio Febu. Nelio Febu, they have sent her in. And believe you me, Nelio Febu can never surface again on this planet Earth because her private, her, the most private of her part is out there the most private of her part and she's not a all this a uh, pun something but it's in out there this issue started with nelly ofebu and nelly ofebu is one of those that come to deceive and projected this ability in finland called simon he projected that idiot so much with back of a uh, with back of a uh, uh, oyibo and the rabbit shots. Bridget Okafo. All of these people are those that we are projecting. And the one they call Rosemary and Didiamaka. They projected this guy to the extent that our leader begin to understand, okay, you know, uh, there is a sin that is forgiveness. But I have told them that there is no forgiveness on this behalf. As far as you have by our people, why should we forgive you? As far as you are bringing downfall to this struggle, why, we should for, why should we forgive you? 
you are gone, you are gone. Forget about them. If you ever say ill about our struggle and you think that you are going to come back tomorrow and change, Sabo will always be Sabo. That is something I'm trying to let our people understand. Sabo will always be Sabo. There is no how you can return him back. Because that is the part that you have already chosen or she have already chosen. Nelly Ofebu is the root and the cause of this our problem and the mess that we are into today. Where is Nelly Ofebu? Nowhere to be found. And you know the worst part of it that I sometimes I keep on asking, does it mean that our people don't see? Or they see but they just want to ignore? <laughs> After Nero Febu did all what she did, at the end, the Bekus came out. And as it stands today, she's dying in silence. She is dying in silence. Please go and ask her. Go and ask people around her. Nero Febu don't even go to club again. She will even up to now. She don't even go to all this, uh, their, you know, naming ceremony, all this, they are nonsensical. He, she never go there again because so now when I free half give we half go where because so ananya kesa man ke man ebon agusi si onu mli who started this uh, this propaganda Nelly Ofebu telling you that we are going to the people of Biafra have hated on DOS. He later carry a bit along, a bit came back and told you people that Nelly Ofebu do juju to him. And some of you believe it. Now we are going to listen to the latest one. I told you people Azoka, Azoka, Azoka. Nepani Azoka about. I want to I want to show you people Azoka. Amu about also Suga Magif. See her. See her. Okoko. See who is Azoka here. Ama homo. I keep on asking myself. I don't even know Otundia say Jennifer Janu Mamle. I don't know Azoka Afuya Hakatente and the husband the Adepa Ka 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 Mueba. But to have said Jesus in his face, I know my is what I don't know. Ne kwa ni ene here, ne 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 no mbweke here. Ona na Afuya, nimba okwa no fori. Ne ne just ne ne no ka for Hana Abora. Onya abuwa for Ka Ka Wo. Nkozo e bu nkozo just what she go do. Ona kowaram na that na. He would have if he had not made food that me and I connect it together. Oh, but I phone it. I phone it. The market is fine. I phone. I phone. I phone. I'm a homo. I was going to find a sin as a harm. But I just want you people to know. Some people will think that I'm coming here to joke. No. When when I got when I got angry, I can say, look, just look at them. Then then okay for Afia, okay for about Pia. Just let them come closer. You will see that now for have demarcated. Even though when Azoka is turning her back, if one of her phone can have already also demarcated, I don't even know. Only on Kwarife Janu Mamli, can walk on Kwarife Janu Mamli. A man that even though if he stand, he can't see his uh, if Janu Mamli. This idiot they call a uh, 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 Kefana Abuya Azoka. He Azoka can never see her because as she stand, she can never see her because because oh oh we go oh we go bugger so what's your way idiot. Now, they are in a big mess. And I want to show you people again the propaganda of these people before I will get to the main topic of these people. Now, I want you people to see how they deceive people. Just watch. No, no, no. Don't tell me that they have already... <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that. No, 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 no. You can't tell me that. You can't find this video again. Don't tell me, say they don't delete this video. <laughs> I, I save it. Don't worry. I save it. I save it. I save it. They don't know. I'm bigger than all these people. I save it. I save it. Let me click it again. Now, this page you require cannot be displaced right now. It's been temporary unavailable. The link you click is only be broken, expired. But I save it. I make a screenshot. Pamuna, I know these people because they are lies or the Oga have told them. Go and remove this, you know. It's a lie, yo. See, I'm here. See, I'm here. Okay, let me find the name. Let me find the name. Maybe if I find the name direct, it will come out. I have the name. I have the name. Because there's something I want to show our people. I want to show you people something. I want to show you people something. You see how they deceive our people. 
I want to. There is one idiot, and I will mention his name. I will, I will show you people. I don't know. He says he's a security something. Let me find the name of this idiot. I hope the thing will be still there. What is his name? He says, uh, uh, Ben. Ben. Ja. Okay, Benjamin. Mm. Okay, no, 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 go back. See it here. I hope I will still have it. I hope it will still there. Uh -huh. Two days ago. If they never delete it. Josh. I have the copy, but I don't know why I did not uh, make this thing one after the other. But I will find it. Ah, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I want you people to see something. <laughs> you see this idiot that is here? This idiot. Oh, my, my this thing is not clear. Wait. See this idiot that is here? See, let me show you his picture again. See his picture here. When I know this idiot, when I know this idiot, his name is, uh, he says he's a deputy diplomat and uh, foreign affair, affairs. Biafran Republic government in desert. Pro, uh, it's not Prof. Anthony Mwe Boko. Mwe Boko. Ha. He say, he say, his position is, uh, let me read what they, what, what they wrote here. Let me read what they wrote here. They say breaking, breaking. The Biafra military, de the Biafra military deputy, diplomat, and foreign affair, Prof. Anthony Nwoboko, to have a second meeting with NATO. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Nah, eh. You know, sometimes I used to ask myself, which kind of lie? Now, I don't lie. Oh, yeah, read it. Read it. And now, I want to show you people, after then, see what they are showing us that they have already acquired. Please, please. Beater. See it here. You see it here. They say they have bought this one. This is uh, what Eberima is showing them on his Twitter handle. This is what Eberima is showing them. This is another one. This is what he's, he's showing them on his... Uh, where is this thing now? You see it? This is what uh, Eberima is showing them that he have bought. Let me show you people. So that... Uh, 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 internet. They will go to internet. They will snap a picture. They will come and begin to show you. You see, I don't know why. See the idiot here. The idiot here went to. You see, I'm here. See the idiot here. Now, why this thing is going is going this way? I think it's because of this light. Just hold on. More worse. Okay. See the guy here. Probably uh, he's uh, shaking uh, his wife. He's shaking the wife and he's sending the picture. So I want you people to see how these people are deceiving you people. Just imagine he's, he said that he, he, even though he have already had a meeting, he said my second vogal to Brussels, Belgium, international relation with the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Prof. Anthony Nwiboko. 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 Breaking news. Breaking. The Senna is breaking. Biafra military deputy diplomat, diplomatic and foreign affairs. 
proof. Hey, you know, when all these people will be lying to you, you don't even understand. But today, we want to hear that is a problem. A Berima have sacked according to them all. But we are going to get every information so that we can be able to push it out here for our people to understand what we are saying. Just imagine those people that started this thing from the beginning. That is something I want you people to understand. Nelly Ofebu, Madan Oyibo, Oyibo, and we are Madan, Bridget Okaf, Nikompu Odumewa, Rabbi Chas. Where are they today? Nowhere to be found. Uh, Rosemary and Didiamaka, where are they today? Nowhere to be found. They have abandoned Mazen Namdekano because they came with a mission. They came to Lloyd Mazen Namdekano away. They just came to destroy what we are doing. And that is how it is. There is no how you can ever dispute or begin to argue. In other words, in this thing that I'm saying, you can never accept your lack of ability to understand and reason. Of course, it's a common sense, but it's not common. We have a lot of gullible people that always believe in deceit. That is why a one idiot will come and tell you that it's a deputy di diplomatic and foreign affair. Biafran public government in desert. That is a prof. He's now showing you all this kind of all this kind of plane. Worship. Where did they anchor this worship? I don't know. All these uh, tankers. Where did they uh, anchor it? Nowhere to be found. All this uh, automatic that is not a real gun. A gun they are using to act movie. If you think it's a real, they will go and make it screenshot in the internet and go and show it. This one go to museum. He go to museum, army museum. This idiot, they call Anthony. He go to army museum. He take a picture. He snap it to you with a one book in his hand. And one, uh, one, uh, one thing he hang on his, uh, on his neck. That even though where I'm walking, we have ID. We also hang it. You see how they are deceiving you people. You see how they are deceiving you. Now let us hear this before I will go to my last. Uh, if I can be able to read this, uh, our dialogue because we are ready to dialogue. Now let us hear. Let us hear. I want you people to pay attention. Pay attention. Uh, there is a problem. Uh, very very soon now. Then we these people that are uh, Bridget Okafo. Uh, what is her name? Idiot. Ungo siro no now. Or Azoka. Azoka, the one thing be said, the woman self don't look like a woman. If you are the key, you okay. Without all this wig, hand it will gas in his. If Azoka, a mahomo to that man, even, even though the man himself is a, he is a chimpanzee, that is why they couldn't, uh, he just say, Afro, okay, make make Afro. Just you can't you see Azoka, how she look like. A man, a man. Oh, you know, how you trouser get a wig. Can you tell me different between man and Azok? There is none. There is none. This is the people that are going to put you. Please, 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 Zika, please. This is the people that they are going to put uh, them on your on the money they are promising you people. Now let us listen to what there is happening in their in their midst. Oh yeah, again, on the board, the Prime Minister of the Afro Republic government in exile. Oh yeah, Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the Afro Republic government in exile. Yes, have uh, sacked uh, Madam Azoka. This information is not in the public domain yet, but uh, we are getting from insiders uh, that um, Madam Azoka has been sacked. You, uh, you are all. 
already aware that this woman is the defense minister in the cabinet of uh, Simon Epa, um, that uh, she's the defense minister there, and when I know her now, the rapport has been going on, and according to what we hear now, they say that she has been sacked uh, from that position. In fact, um, we also have it uh, that uh, the Omoata worldwide has been dissolved. The Omoata um, Nata Ukweu has been dissolved by Simon Epa, the Biafra Republic government in exile prime minister, that all these people has been dissolved. In fact, they are no longer functioning. Um, <clears throat> I know say it never did for the public domain, but we would always, you know, come here to at least give you update on waiting with the get. Uh, this uh, information is, uh, <laughs> you, you understand, is first hand here. Simon Epa and uh, Madame Azonka plus uh, the Omar people, uh, they say there is a very um, serious crisis brewing in the backyard. And I brought it to the forefront. I told you people that, um, you know, something needs to be done and Simon Epa is not doing well with them, they are having crisis. So I say, ah, let me bring it out so that, uh, because they say if they bring wound, come out, the, 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 the wound will be, you know, the cured, and all the sickness will be, eh, uh -huh. I say, we put our call in here, uh -huh. it will be addressed. Let me just leave it at that. But when I'm bringing it to you, to show you how gullible you guys are, those people who are supporting things blindly, when we tell you that this is not how this thing is, when I go begin the, the bubble, like uh, water with the boil inside the... When I don't hear them, when I don't hear them, Simon Eba have sacked Azoka Amweba. He have sacked Azoka. And he have sacked Omoakata. But the one thing I want you people to understand is this. If these people are genuine, just imagine if they are genuine. The people that started this issue, the people that have started this propaganda, they are not again with Simon Eba. I have mentioned their name. I have mentioned, remember that Azoka, they were together from the day one. They were together day one. After then, there is a problem in their midst. They, 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 they divided. Later, Nelly Ofe will gather them, some people also back again, involved of BJ to Okafo, Rabishas, Oyibo, Nelly Ofebu and the uh, rest of them, they chased Ndidiamaka and Rosemary away. They, 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 they started with Simon Eba projecting this guy, making him, they making his media to be, to be, to be, to be deceiving people. After then they fought, they left all these people away. It made him begin to castigate those people that, are, that give him mouth. For you to know that this guy know, exa know exactly what he's doing. Are you understanding what I'm saying? These people have come and gone. Later, Didiamaka and Rosemary find their way to penetrate and enter Simon. That is when they send this one non a, vill uh, non a village, Anna or this lawyer. What is his name? Um... Aloye Jimako. That is when they send Aloye Jimako $20,000 through Ndidiamaka. That is when they send Ndidiamaka sent to them $20,000 through Simon Eber. And after then, they, they, they eat their money. They abandoned the Amaka and Rosemary. Now, Simon Eba went back and connived with those people that are listening and thinking that they are going to do better by defrauding and extorting money from our people. He gets uh, uh, Azoka and the husband of ex ministry in that contraption. They now begin to operate because, you know, once a soldier will always be a soldier. Even though they expel you, even though they remove you, even though you go to a war, a war, what they call it, you left by yourself. 
a soldier always be a soldier. So he have that connection. He have connection of people. There is no how. Talk less of now they are in America. And those people are in the zoo. You know the way they are seeing people in Obodo Yibo? That is why they see the man now. The man begin to penetrate them. They begin to give them one, one thing or the other. They will, they will rent them their gun so that they will use it to go and they operate and stole from our people. Kidnap and snatch of cars and motorbikes. With the help of Azoka husband. Azoka husband is the one that gives them happy and way. How they can be able to get all these sophisticated things that they can use to intimidate our people. Azoka husband. Today now, they are in a big mess. But we are going to see how it's going to end. We are here to see how it's going to end. And the, my question to you people now is some of you that are sheepishly following these idiots that are killing our people every single day, causing mayhem, putting problem on Mazen Namdekanu to keep on delaying his uh, release. At the same time, he will be telling you people that uh, he's doing this thing for Mazen Namdekanu to come. You have tried. Let me give you, you have tried for two years. Zukwenike, Agua, Zukwe, Wokema, Zukwenike, Iti, Iti, Zukwenike, Biko, Zuike, Iti, Iti, Zuzienike, Simon Eba, Zuzien, Zuike, 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 please. Zuzike, you have tried for two years. Sit at home, coffee, home. Monday, everything, Zuike. The last one that you went out and begin to burn our people's property, Mazen Namikan were not released. Zuzie Koga or Gazoike, Zoike, Zoike. Let us do also our own. Zoike, Imegiri is nehi ne Imegiri. We are going to see the end of Azoka. And at the end, you will see see people supporting this idiot. This idiot is not in in good term with the leadership of Mazen Namikan. Okay, he have already expelled them. This idiot to call Simon is not in good term with Mazen Namdekano's family. None. This idiot they call Simon is not in good term with Mazen Namdekano legal team. Now, so tell me, this idiot to call Simon is not in a good term with IPOB. So now tell me who this guy is working for. Even though the wife of Mazen Namdekano, he called his disciple. He's not in good term with the wife of Mazen Namdekano that he's claiming that he's fighting for. Now, tell me who this guy is working for. That is the question that I want you to, to ask yourself or to answer. And if you think that uh, there is how you can get me convinced and I'll, I'm ready to follow you, tell me the achievement of these people from, the, from that two years, adoption of our leader up to date. I want to see the achievement if it's not by buying, buying our people. Hatred everywhere. Now I want to read. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Please load that in beaten. Please load it, please. Please. Um, my last topic, because uh, my kids are back. I have to be quick and uh, also at the same time end the video. You know, um, I want to read out this IPOB memo. Uh, let me see. Because uh, when we are telling you people that we are ready to negotiate, we know what we are doing. We are ready to negotiate. We are not in armed struggle. For you to understand, for you to know, we are not in armed struggle. But uh, if worse comes to short, if that is the last alternative, then the time will tell. But I want you people to listen to this. I will read it out, and I hope that I can be able to finish reading everything out. I hope, I wish. I hope, I hope. Why is this um, IPOB press release? The last IPOB press release. Yes. The last IPOB press release. Let me try to. Uh, I think it's, uh, I can try to read this thing in five minutes. I think it's going to be possible. Let me see. IPOB press release 7 slash 10 2023. 7th October 2023. 
IPOB ready for dialogue on Biafran referendum. We, the global family and the movement on this indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, able lead by Onyen Dumazen Namdekan, wish to re uh, retreat once again that IPOB remains peaceful and we remains open for negotiation and dialogue on peaceful exist of Biafra from Nigeria through a UN supervised referendum. IPOB's peaceful agitation for Biafran independent state started in 2012. Never have IPOB be associated with violence or criminality in all of our year of larry and protest. Nevertheless, Nigerian government, through her moderate security forces, have led war against IPOB. IPOB members have been brutal attacked why on a peaceful protest by the Nigerian security forces at many locations in Biafra land. As a result of this, on warrant attacks, many, many IPOB members have been murdered in cold blood. Some have been uh, permanently hang, uh, handicapped. Some forceful disappear by Nigerian security forces whereas some are still illegal detain detained in various detention facilities across Nigeria. Many IPOB members and sympathizers have been had their house and the business burned by the Nigerian security forces. IPOB has lost over 5,000 members with their properties worth over 1 billion US dollars. As a result of extreme use of force from the Nigerian security forces, irrespective of all the provocations from the Nigerian state. IPOB have never retreated nor have we taken up, on arm, taken up arm against the Nigerian state. IPOB stand for peace. We stand for dialogue and we stand for discussions. The cardinal rules under which IPOB was formed is to lead the way of peace for a peaceful separation of Biafra from Nigeria. Biafra and Nigeria are two different nations. The event from 1948 to 2023 have shown that it is a practically impossible for Biafra and Nigeria to coexist as a one nation. IPOB have been calling on the Nigerian state for decision on a peaceful referendum date. But Nigerian state always return to the peaceful call with violence suppression suppression violence and sub violence suppression we have always maintained that self-determination is our inalienable right according to the un law we remain committed to pursue our self-determination peaceful according to the international laws and regulation however nigerian government repre uh, repressive approaches to stop the movement have led to the death of over 6 million Biafrans since 1967 up to date. Yet, that has not quelled the desire of Biafran to have their independent state. For emphasis sake, IPOB does not have an army and has never supported or authorized anyone or any group, any group to form any army. What IPOB is IPOB has is a vigilante group called ESN Security Network, Eastern Security Network, ESN. ESN is an arm bearing vigilante with a clear mandate of security, uh, securing our forests and uh, dislodging Fulanese terrorists, nicknamed Hessmen, who were raped our moms, our mothers, killing our people, snatching cars, destroying and destroying our farmlands and crops. ESN is not in any way a military arms of IPOB, but a vigilante group. IPOB is ready to meet with the Nigerian government and they, and meet Nigerian government any day. They are ready for negotiation or Biafran referendum. IPOB support peaceful separation from the corruption forms by the foreign call Nigeria. We believe Biafra can be achieved without war and scheduling 
sharing, sharing of innocent blood of Biafrans or Nigerians. We are bold to say that IPOB have never raised arms against the Nigerian state. But we have de defeated. We have defended ourselves and our land against Fulani's headsmen and their supporters. IPOB have never shed any innocent blood and we never share any innocent blood, but we always fend, defend ourselves against any attack from any quarter. IPOB is ready for, for dialogue on Biafran referendum date and procedure. We want peace and uh, we, we, we want peace and are ever ready to leave Nigeria in peace, but not in pieces. But not in pieces of the graveyard. We remain resolute and focused towards our goal, which is Biafran independence via a referendum. The early Nigeria, the, the earlier the Nigerian government schedule a referendum date for Biafrans to decide their faith, the better for every one of us. This message re, uh, repre uh, represents the views of our leader, Mazen Namdekano, IPOB leadership, and the global families, members of IPOB, comrade, a powerful media and public publicity secretary for IPOB. Thank you, great people of Biafra. I salute you all. That is what I have for you people today. Till we come back again, I will say Meshuko Kikabi, I'm be with all of you. Till we see again. From me, from here, I will call it good evening.